All right. Here I am at the Grand River Road Railroad Crossing in Bancroft, Michigan. Now this crossing right here is another rather neat crossing owned by the CN Flint subdivision with a few differences other than like the typical seaman setup you would find on this line. And this is also the third and final crossing in Bancroft that I haven't really checked out yet. But um, now since I've heard it in action from the distance and I'm about to get in action here hopefully in a moment or not in a moment but soon, I decided to go ahead and uh, tour it while I'm back over here in this rather neat little village of Bancroft so so this crossing offers some pretty cool equipment you know pretty substantial stuff not totally typical either but like not super special either so I guess with that said I'll explain as I go on so with that sick so with that said let's get to it so for the first signal this has a safe tram base and here's the emergency information the dot tag and the number is 283706 D and you can see it's in a kind of a different font than the others and for the gate mechanism, this has a Satran gate mechanism 2000s generation with the General Signals gate arm bracket as well. And this feet in the gate features some uh, Rico LED gate lights and a wind guard on the mast. And for the lights, this has two pairs of Satran 12 by 20 inch die light LEDs all sitting on a Satran light bracket. And for a bell, this has a General Signals Type 1 electronic bell set on default pitch. Now, one thing worth mentioning about this signal is I believe, well, first of all, I believe the flights flash on their own separate flash relays. And you can see that this bell is very worn down. Now, yeah, and I'm not exactly sure what kind of equipment this replaced way back in the past because this crossing remained unchanged ever since, like, let's say the late 2000s. So that was the first signal. Pretty substantial stuff. Now let's go ahead and go on to the second signal. So... Yeah, let's walk over here. It's pretty cold and really snowy, so my apologies if I may shiver or stutter during this. <laughs> so yeah, so for the second signal, which is somewhat similar to the first, this has another safe tram base. And here's the emergency information once again. And for the gate mechanism, this has another safe tram gate mechanism, uh, 2000s generation. And the gate features some more Rico LED gate lights and a wind guard on the mast. Excuse me. And for the lights, this has two more pairs of Satran 12 by 20 inch die light LEDs, all sitting on a Satran light bracket. And for a bell, this has a General Signals Type 2 electronic bell set on medium to high volume. Now this, now one thing worth mentioning that this crossing has a G, well even though it has a GS Type 1 and Type 2 bell combo, but I'm not sure if I got the two backwards or something, but this GS Type 1 is very, very healthy. You can hear it from all the way over there. It's kind of cool actually to see one of those still remain so yeah i guess that said this was the equipment to show here for uh grand river road here's the relay case sitting at mile post 248.65 now with that said let's go ahead and take a look at the track view so down there is heading east it's right at the bancroft control point you can see it's sitting at 248.49 you can see we currently have a train lined up to go into the um second track here or main one red over flashing yellow over flashing yellow and if you look closely down there you can see the uh, the vernon control point and also cne 251 which is currently sitting down there and eventually will stop for this oncoming eastbound and this is also eventually heading towards the durand area and down there is heading west towards the other two crossings in bancroft at main street and shiawassee street and also at Payne road which is technically their fourth crossing you can see an automatic signal down there which is red and it's usually a default flashing yellow. And that's also eventually heading towards the Perry and Shastberg area. So yeah, I guess with all that said, this was the Grand River Road Railroad Crossing in Bancroft, Michigan. Pretty neat stuff. Hopefully I'm about to get in action here in a bit. So I guess with that said, over and out.